Hey guys, this is your boy Trapper Tom, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the final countdown and Scorched Earth 2 on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. For this, we need to load up Identity Crisis, and when Adler is questioning you, where is Perseus? then you need to answer the truth. Uh, you know, he's in the monastery and that will load up the required mission for you. So if you just play the rest of this and it will, you know, load into the final countdown for you. Now, as soon as you start the mission, there's gonna be like a mad EMP thing that happens and you'll be equipped with a grenade launcher. This is where you get the uh, first achievement, which is Scorched Earth 2. For this, you need to take out a bunch of watchtowers and trucks. The way you do this is uh, you load up, there's two watchtowers, the, uh, your, your teammates will take out the one on the left, so you concentrate on the one on the right, it takes like two grenades to take it down, then you shoot the trucks, now the trucks are left, right, left, right, that's the order that they come in, and then there's four more watchtowers for you to take out, so then I took out the right watchtower, the left watchtower, the left watchtower, and then the right watchtower in that order you'll see it in the video in just a second and like it took me about 50 attempts i swear this frame rate is a bit mad by the way i can't believe they've still not fixed this but yeah you will see the order in just a second it just needs to load up and yeah like i said it took me about 50 attempts so if you can't get it just keep going and keep spamming the hell out of the grenade launcher so yeah you load up the mission it's pretty much at the start you get all this you know stuff that you need to go through with uh, woods and mason and that and then an emp or whatever it is a, a missile or something it looks like an emp actually it probably isn't otherwise your truck would stop working i don't know i don't know what it is that missile there cruise missile or something whatever that is it drops in and then as soon as you pull out the uh, launcher in just a second you can restart the checkpoint, by the way, as many times as you want. You know, if you fail, you can't get the last watch. It's always the last watchtowers. But anyway, here we go. So you've got the right watchtower. And then there's a truck on the left. Truck on the right. Truck on the left. Truck on the right. And then go for the right watchtower, the left watchtower, and then the right watchtower, and then the left. Yeah, so it doesn't matter which order you do those last two in. Doesn't matter which order you do any of them in, to be honest. But <laughs> there we go. Anyway, just keep going with that one. And yeah, like I say, you can restart the last checkpoint or restart the mission as many times as you want. So I'm gonna let the rest. Of the, I'm gonna let the rest of this video play out. If you guys do find it helpful in any way, please do leave it a like. Subscribe to see some more content. Talk to me down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.
they did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. My hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Gadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind us, we should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Adrian Azoulay's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his casket from transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. It'll take some time to heal up, but it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us. Thanks for the help in the end of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Yuri? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic Air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know just what a thing is happening with you and me. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, Bell. Heroes have to make sacrifices, remember? 
That's why won't I ask you for one more after what I said. It was never personal. 